Hey everybody, so today we're gonna go over how to set up Tesla Mate and get it connected to your Tesla. Tesla Mate's an open source project um, that's an alternative to applications such as Tessie or Teslab. Those are all paid for, and like I said, this is open source and free for you to use. Uh, so how this functions is it essentially connects to Tesla's API. So all the data that your car outputs, it reads that and then provides it to you in a viewable format uh, through these dashboards. So right now I have the battery health dashboard pulled up. You can see my max range, my battery health, my usable battery capacity, and all my trip statistics. So we also have some other cool um, dashboards such as drives here. So if I click one right here, we can see the location and all the other metrics of how much power I used, my speed, elevation changes, um, energy used, and there's just so much data to look at, um, your efficiency, and so many others that I just don't have time to go over. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to get this set up and how to get it integrated into your own home system. Uh, and just a quick little message before I begin, I'd like to thank those who used my referral code in the previous video. I really appreciate the support. I just wanted to let you guys know that there are still a couple uses left if you would like to get $1,000 off your next Tesla purchase. I just wanted to make that quick little message, um, but let's get right into it. All right, so before we get started here, I'm just going to give a brief step-by-step -step of the steps we're going to be going through um, and the necessary requirements and different tools we're going to need installed to get TeslaMate up and running. Uh, so here we are at TeslaMate's homepage here. Uh, it basically just gives you all the steps you're going to need, but like I said, I'm going to go in more detail. And if you have any questions throughout this process, feel free to comment below and all the links will be provided in the description. So if you're looking for anything specific, just look in the description. Um, so basically the first requirement we're gonna need here is Docker. Um, I know a lot of you are gonna be doing this on either like a Raspberry Pi or some home server, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be doing a Windows install and running this locally on my desktop. Uh, so later on, we're gonna go over how to install Docker desktop and next, we are gonna have to create a Docker Compose YAML file. Uh, this is gonna contain our encryption key for making sure our uh, access tokens are secure, um, creating a password, and pretty much the rest is handled by Docker, so you won't have to worry about any other installation steps. Um, and then other than that, it's just gonna be accessing the Tesla made site, uh, setting up our username and password, and we should be all good to go. So I will see you in a sec. All right, so here we are on the Docker homepage. Uh, for the sake of this video, like I had mentioned, we are gonna be doing this on Windows and we're gonna be downloading the Docker desktop app. Uh, the process is very similar if you're on a Linux machine, which I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be doing, uh, running this on a Raspberry, Raspberry Pi or a home server. Um, but for keeping this simplistic, um, we're just gonna use the Docker desktop, which has you know a nice UI. And to get this installed, you're gonna just hover over the download Docker desktop, click on download for Windows AMD 64, unless for some reason you have an ARM processor, um, but stick with this download. Once you have that executable, you're gonna run it. It's gonna install the necessary uh, packages. You're gonna be prompted to sign in you're gonna sign in and then you're gonna be showing a fresh Docker install. Um, so the only steps I missed out there are installing it and signing in, but yours should look pretty much identical. So this is where we're gonna actually be running TeslaMate, uh, making any modifications to our Docker Compose file um, and just general diagnostics. So uh, next up, I'm gonna show you how to get your Docker Compose file set up and uploaded. All right, so now for getting our Docker Compose file all set up, uh, you're gonna wanna create a new directory. I'd recommend uh, making it something that you can remember just for when we actually run the Docker Compose command. Um, make sure it's also exactly spelled like this. That's how it recognizes what file it needs to grab the data from and all the necessary variables. Um, right now, mine is just blank. But to resolve this, we're gonna go back to the Tesla Mate site. 
go to the instructions. Um, this is the page I was on earlier. Uh, you're going to click this copy button, go back to your text editor, paste it on in there. And the first change we're going to want to make is this database password variable. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make it something not secure, just test one, two, three. Um, and if you're hosting this on a local network, you should be all right to make it, you know, something that's not crazy. But if you're hosting this online, I would definitely make sure you know what you're doing and uh, definitely make this a secure password. So anywhere you see this comment, insert your secure database password, um, you're going to paste it there. Uh, so we're all good with that. And then next, we're going to want to get our encryption key. Uh, this, you, regardless if you're hosting this locally or online, I would recommend using a secure key of some sort, um, since this is what actually encrypts your access and refresh token. So I'm going to go to random key gen, uh, refresh this, and I'm going to grab one of these 152-bit keys and paste it on in there. Okay. So now that we have our Docker Compose YAML file set up, we are actually, okay, actually we're not completely set up yet. I did remember for this Postgres setup, um, it's not working on version 17 right now, or at least I had problems and it does appear to be a common issue. So you're gonna wanna make sure that this is Postgres 16 or your Tesla mate uh, container will not run and it'll get stuck in an infinite loop. So make sure this is 16, save, and now we're all good to go. So we're gonna go into terminal, navigate to our directory of where we have this Docker Compose file. We're gonna go back to Teslamate, copy this Docker Compose up dash D, and then paste it on in here. So this is just to confirm, this is where my Docker Compose file is. And then we are going to run this with docker compose up dash D. And this is going to install all the necessary packages um, that we have listed here in our docker compose file. So it's pretty much just the actual test limit application itself, uh, Mosquito, uh, Postgres for the database, and Grafana for actually displaying all the uh, data and graphs. So if we navigate back to docker desktop here, um, we can see that all these uh, volumes and, can, and subcontainers are running. Um, and we can verify this by going to localhost and then port 4000. And as you can see, we are up and running and we just need our access token and our refresh token. All right, so to actually get our tokens to log in and connect our account uh, to Teslamate, we are going to download Tesla Auth. Uh, this essentially uses the login system that Tesla has set up uh, to pull the, essentially what's the API key um, and use it in their own application. So we're gonna click Tesla Auth here. And since we're doing this on a Windows machine, we're gonna click Windows, drag this in here, extract, and then we are going to run it. Um, and this is a safe application. Lots of users um, have run through this code since it is open source um, and they have found no problems. So what you're gonna do is you are going to sign in. I'm gonna move this window because it's going to show my tokens. Um, you're gonna sign in. And once you've done this, you're gonna get your access token and your refresh token. So you are gonna copy and paste both of these into the corresponding fields on the Teslamate uh, form field there, and you will then have access to your car's metrics. All right, so once you have your access token and refresh token put in, um, mine are blurred out for obvious reasons, um, you're gonna press sign in and you should get a signed in successfully message. So it might take a second for it to actually connect to your Tesla. Um, my Tesla's asleep, so I actually might have to go wake it up uh, to have it show up on here. Um, 
But to verify that everything is working, we can click on uh, settings here. And then we are going to find our dashboard section and we are going to put localhost 3000. So this is where our actual Grafana instance is hosted and what you're going to be using to view all your Tesla metrics. Um, so we're going to press, actually we might not even have to press save. And then uh, since I'm from good old United States, we're going to change that to miles and this to Fahrenheit and to PSI. So uh, if you have an LFP battery, select this, free supercharging, uh, request that. And then we can go back to home here. Um, so I'm going to go back and show you what it looks like in my actual car um, to get this up and running since my car is asleep. And I will be back. All right, so here we are in my Tesla. Um, and we can verify that this Tesla Mate installation has worked. Um, by an icon that will pop up here in a second. So this right here. Um, so you'll see this come up whenever Tesla Mate makes a request to the Tesla API to get data. Um, and you can see it says this icon appears when app requests your vehicle's live location data. And you know, that's the whole purpose of Tesla Mate. And don't be alarmed by the unverified third-party app. That's just because we're providing our own API key um, and Tesla Mate is simply pulling the data and providing the uh, metrics for us. So I will see you back at the tutorial. All right, so as you just saw, we've woken up the car and we can now see that we are getting data. So to actually view the metrics of our car, we're gonna go to the dashboard section here um, and then we can click any of these. I'm just gonna go to the battery health section um, and the default username is going to be admin. And let me double check here what the password is. And then the initial password is also admin. So set your own password. This is separate from what we set in our uh, Docker compose file. So you can make this whatever you want. Click submit. And then for the first bit until you do a couple drives it's going to show no data here um, so don't be alarmed everything's working you can see that it is connected um, let's see if we can actually get any metrics to pop up here without having it driven at all um, okay so for now it's not going to display anything since we uh, have just created a new connection to Tesla Mate and it doesn't have any of those metrics yet. Um, but as you saw in the first clip of this video, um, that's what yours will look like as you drive uh, more and are able to actually collect more data. So that's about all we have for now. You can set up some really cool stuff with geofences um, and then configuring some other uh, metric tracking within Grafana. And the easiest way to get here is by going to the TeslaMate site, which is on port 4000, clicking dashboards, and then selecting any of these. And then if you want to navigate in between these dashboards, you're going to click this dashboards button here, and then you can navigate between any of the ones that you want. Uh, so that's all I've got. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful, uh, feel free to drop a like. Um, if you run into any problems and have any questions or errors, uh, also put them in the comments below and I'll try to respond and assist you guys however I can. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for videos you'd like to see involving the Tesla, also comment those down below. And that's all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching.